This right here is a smoke ninja, a handheld smoke machine and the little brother of the smoke genie, which you might have seen while searching for videos on this topic. But who would have guessed that two years after the release of the smoke genie, you would get a one third as expensive machine that does everything and even a bit more. The why, the how and everything else will be talked about right after the intro. Let's begin by talking about all the things you get inside of the box. The Smoke Ninja comes in this nice reinforced carrying case and is packed full of different accessories, the device itself, a remote to trigger it from far away, a bottle of smoke liquid, a replacement chamber, two different kinds of mounts, a couple of replacement caps for the liquid, a transport cap in orange and two different mounts for smoke production such as this dry ice version. What makes the Smoke Ninja so versatile is the nice and very easy to learn function. Let's begin by inserting the single 18650 battery into the device, which is great for quickly changing the battery on set. But wait, opening up the battery chamber reveals these two slots on the sides. These are specifically designed for inserting the two holding mounts. One that is magnetic and the other one is for quarter 20 stands. This in my opinion is a great idea and it's just the start of a few very clever ideas that have been built into this tiny smoke machine. Next up is the protective case around the firing chamber, which can be opened up via a small button at the back. This gives you the chance to fill up the smoke liquid into the tank or you can change the chamber itself. And on top of the chamber there's a small rubber lip that is kinda purple but turns to a pink color when the chamber is very hot. A clever idea that keeps you from burning your fingers. Also a great small addition is the orange cap that goes on top of your device, sealing it up to make it easier to transport the device without spilling liquid all over the place like uh, with many other of those devices. To begin with smoke production you need to press the top button three times. This turns on the machine. After that you have three different options for smoke production. Fog which is great to create some haze in your room and produces the most amount of smoke. Dry ice, which is used for lingering, thick smoke that is best used for product shots. And lastly steam, which produces a fine mist that can be used for food or beverage commercials to give them that extra kick. And finally the fire button is housed on the backside directly above the battery compartment. Now if you actually look closer at the device, there are two LED bars on the front that change in colors when you choose the different firing modes. These bars are designed to show you the remaining runtime until the device shuts off. And then there's also a small battery indicator at the bottom showing you the remaining charge. So let's see the smoke production of the Smoke Ninja in comparison with my other two handheld smoke devices and after that let's test the different functions in different shooting scenarios. So looking at the footage, I much rather prefer the Smoke Ninja's output in terms of density and speed. It can fill up a small room in roughly half the time of the other machines that I own. I had this for roughly two months now and everyone on set that I asked which one of the devices they actually like more always preferred the Smoke Ninja over every other small handheld device due to the ease of functionality and the ease of use. Now let's take a look at this scene right here. It's a simple Lego Harry Potter house that looks much better when we add some smoke to the scene. And this also goes for a regular scene like this one right here. It gives the whole scene more character and can transform it from a regular look to something with a bit more oomph in the image. And now finally let's take a look at the product shot which looks so much better when we add some dry ice effect to it as well as a bit of smoke coming from the top. Conclusion. 
This is the best mini smoke machine I ever tested. The ease of use, the functionalities, the clever design solutions and all the accessories that come with it makes this a great small solution and package for every content creator, product video or photographer and more. And it's actually very affordable, especially since I got it for 190 euros on Kickstarter. Right now it's 250 euros. As always, I added links to it in the description if you're interested in buying it. So as always, my name is Leech and I'm off writing the next scripts. If you enjoyed this video, then make sure to subscribe to this channel. There are plenty more of this type of content and many other things available for you to watch. Have a great day, see you around and goodbye.